What I believe is like, you know, don't listen to anyone. Everybody's scared. You know, everyone tells you how things worked out, but it worked out for you that way. You can't do that. No, you can't do it. No, are you crazy? How are you going to do that? How? So the whole thing is just, you know, and always believe you're great, even before anybody else hey, believes. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Caviar Kicks coming back with another one. Now, I mean, if it's your first time here, welcome to the page. If, well, welcome to my channel. If not, I mean, welcome back. Uh, so that I mean get so this video on this video here what I'm about to get into is I mean like and we all know last Saturday I think the what was that the fourteenth? Yeah the fourteenth you know the uh what was it? I mean it was a clear indication of why the Yeezys would never jump over the jump man. Cause I mean it was uh a pair of sneakers came out. I mean, it was two sneakers. It was a Yeezy that came out, as well as a Jordan that came out on the same day this weekend. One shoe sold out. The other one did it. And and I am pretty as as you can tell from the title of this video. Like from the title of the little video, you know which. Sneaker did not did not sell out. I mean, they they were still. I think if you could go online right now, and they're still available, still available in some places. And then, um, yeah, I know. I know when I went out that night, like I was like, yeah, I went out, went in the morning, picked up my sneak, picked up the sneaker that I that the winner of the comp, the weekend sneaker comp battle. Well, I, I don't know if there really was no weekend sneaker battle, but I, I'm putting it out there. It was a weekend sneaker battle, and I picked up, I picked up the winner. You know what I mean, I got like you know what I mean, it was up people. It was I seen people buying, getting the, the other, getting the other sneakers and all that. But you know, when I went out later on that night, the mother drinks was like I, I could have really walked in the store. I could have walked in the store, walked in the sneaker store, and and the, the, the sneaker, the, it was a Foot Lock I went into, and that Foot Lock in particular is a small store, so they don't even get a lot of stock. For for the simple fact that they had so many pairs left there, led me to believe that, I mean, like, I mean, it, it ain't gonna happen. So, but then again, knowing me, I already gave it away, and it'd be, I think I'm pretty sure I said something about it, but, Without further ado, you know what I mean? You see that? See the? See that ten and a half? You know what I mean? I might have to blur that out, but got the government name on there. But whatever. Pretty sure somewhere if you go on YouTube, you can find it out anyway. But you can see that Air Jordan, Air Jordan Eleven Retro, Black, True Red, White. So. I mean, you already know what it is. The Air Jordan. If, I mean, if you can't, if you haven't figured out yet, it's the the Jordan Eleven, the Bread Eleven. Then let's get into. It. Go ahead, get into that. Just pulling one shoe out. You know how I do it. Now I mean, and that's bang. There it is. I see that. I mean, just see, it's just stuff like this, like. Why, like, I honestly believe that the Yeezy would not ever surpass Jordan Brand because Jordan Brand has been like, like Jordan, like Jordan's been around for so long. Like, if you're watching this for the, for the average person watching this right now, yeah, you're probably at an age rate where you can remember the initial release when I mean, like, maybe you was young, your parent, your parents couldn't afford to get you these. I remember one of them and now they're releasing all these sneakers. So, like, Yeezy's release, like, Kanye West, the, the Yeezy's are a dope shoe, but these shoes have history with them. Like, like, every time you see one of these, one a Jordan, a retro, a Jordan get retro to something or come back, you could think of the story that goes with it. The Yeezy's are still brand new, so every new shoe is a new shoe. I mean, like, not like let's say, 
when these came out, what, 96? Was it 96? Yeah, I think they originally released 95, 96, somewhere in, around there. So we talking about over 20 years ago when these shows were re released, first released. I mean, maybe 20 years down the line, there's going to be some new, it's going to be a new designer, a new shoe out, new new hype shoe. You know what I mean, and, and and even to say that, Jordan has held that held that position of the, as a shoe to get for up and I could honestly say till the Yeezys came out, Jordan was like the top the top gun in the, in the shoe game, and still is. He just has a little. Bit, they just have a little bit of competition there. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, like I said, but 20, maybe in a couple years, you might get somebody to be like, all right, yeah, well, we better than the Yeezy, but that's if they're retro and Yeezys, though. Which I don't know, but like I said, I mean, the shoe is just dope. Like, I mean, got a, okay, like Adidas. Adidas has a repertoire of sneakers that they could probably release. Not going to compete with Jordan. It might compete with other Nikes in there, uh, other... Like, well, because, you know, Jordan's under that Nike umbrella, so Nike, as a company, might have shoes that Adidas would c c compete with. But when it comes to this, I don't think Adidas got anything in their, in their, uh, in their arsenal that's going to do anything for this. Especially, like, if they, especially if they keep coming with, I'm pretty sure, like, if Jordan, like, every month, they come out with it. It's a, a Yeezy, and then Jordan Brand releases like a throwback eleven, like an eleven colorway. Like they might do these, the cool grays. Um, I mean, the last year was the Concords. The year before that, there was the wind like the wind like eighty twos and the wind like ninety sixes. I mean, they just got it. like Jordan Brand just got it when it comes to certain things. I mean, but yeah, that shit, that that was shit. I ain't even get to. I ain't even really do a review. Now I think about. It, I just got into that rank. But anyway, you up. So I mean, I ain't gonna really, like. If, I mean, you know the shoe if you seen it. I mean, I guess if you guys really want to review, just leave. You can go ahead and leave it in the comment. I'll go through do a kind of uh, do a detailed review. Now I mean, like, but if you see my review on the Concords. That that one, if you go back and check that review, that even now I'll give you the story of my of my uh my my what's the word I'm looking for? My my affliction with the Jordan Eleven. You know what I mean, like we're just like just knowing that's true from young. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm about to go ahead and sign out. Go ahead, edit this video, get this one posted, and. I mean, I'm not sure. I might, I, I might have some before, before the, the New Year's out. Might not, not sure yet. But if anything, if I do post a video, it's probably gonna be me reorganizing my sneaker room and getting it all put together. Cause right now it's, it's kind of, it's a, uh, it's kind of in a um, little bit of a disarray right now. I got stuff everywhere. Now I mean going out, not putting sneakers back. You can see it's like a couple empty slots here and all that. When I pull them out, don't put them back. Then I got a couple more case, sneaker boxes, cases that I have to put in, put in, it, put up in hand and try to figure out how I'm gonna organize this all out. Yeah, but with that being said, about to get out of here. Now I mean, as usual, y'all remember like, comment, comment, subscribe. I mean, and as usual, y'all be good. Y'all be safe, and I'm out later.